Welcome to Reggae My Lightest, I'm your host Cool T. Now, you know Bounty Killer as the Warlord, the Ghetto Gladiator, the Five Star General, the Grung Godzilla, the King of Kingston. But now, you have to add a next title to the general name because Bounty Killer is the king of collaborations and that is no opinion of mine, that is facts and we have the stats to prove it. According to CertifiedStream.com, Bounty Killer is the artist in dancehall history with the most collaborations. Yes, Bounty Killer has the most collaborations with other artists in dancehall history. No other artists in the history of dancehall and reggae music have more collaborations than Bounty Killer. Now, here is the stats according to CertifiedStream.com. So right now, Killer they are number one, but we are going to give you the top five working from number five back to number one, which is Bounty Killer. Number five is Sizzler Colondry of 1018 songs. Sizzler has 114 of them as collaborations, making that an average of 11.9 for Colondry. Coming in at number four is the late great Crown Prince of Reggae himself, Dennis Brown. With 1,029 songs, Dennis Brown has 132 collaborations, making that an average of 12.8 collaborations for the Crown Prince of Reggae, Dennis Brown. Now coming in at number 3 is the fireman himself, Capleton. 917 songs, 125 of them are collaborations, making that an average of 13.6 for the fireman. And guess what? Guess who is second? From the student to the teachers, from the teacher to the students, Vibes Cartel himself coming in at number few or number two, to be politically correct. Of 625 catalog songs, Vibes Cartel has 101 of them as collaborations, making that a percentage or average 16.2 of Cartel songs are collaboration. And of course, Bounty Killer is number one. Catalog songs, 689 songs, 139 of them for killer are collaborations making that an average 20.2 of killer's songs are collaborations so right now people when you look at the stats the average is what make these things stand out you understand because if you look at the chart vibes cartel is at number two with 16.2 so let me just clarify the number two spot why you see vibes cartel and these other artists are below it's because of the average so bounty killer stands tall 689 songs 139 at an average of 20.2 percent of killer songs are collaborations well, guess what killer not done collaborate you know because if you remember the king of kingston album the much delayed king of kingston album that was supposed to have been released in 2021 that album a double cd album with over 50 tracks is expected to feature a lot of collaborations with the likes of Shabarangs, Busy Signal and Cartel again, the likes of Chronix, and a lot more artists Bounty Killer got collab with on that album. So guess what? That 139 collaborations where you see we have for Killer right now, that will increase significantly, putting the Warlord above all further even more you understand what I say? And you know Killer take joy in working with other people. I want thing with Killer you know. You understand when he come on to collaboration, him, him take so much effort and him take so much joy. Him easily go collab with Joshi the other day when Joshi before Joshi was big really and want that big exposure. And the collab with him do with Killer was one that put him to another level as well. You understand? Cause we know Joshi have the talent and everything. You understand? As I said before in the video, Bounty Killer give the exposure to a lot of artists and most times Bounty Killer would have to collaborate with these artists on tracks to give them the exposure. You understand what I said? The likes of I do and even Cartel in the early stage, Movado, Busy, all of the members of the Alliance really and truly and even scare them crew, Elephant Man and them man, the Nitty Kochi and them man, they have to collaborate with to give them the exposure. So let me know in the comment section, name some of the artists that Bounty Killer collab with over the years in his career. Career and you can name some of the songs them too and guess what I'm gonna give you a, a helping hand Barrington Levy these are some of the artists who kill a work with Barrington Levy Beanie Man Merciless Massacre Ayatin Angel Doulas Cartel Movado Busy Signal Wayne Wonder Sanchez Marcia Griffiths Dennis Brown Juguna Gang Aineke no not Aineke Mose Eka Mouse just to name a few and if you go overseas Busta Rhymes Fuji's Man Call Swiss Beats and a lot more no doubt 
You understand? A lot of artists were killer work with over the years, making him the dancehall artist with the most collab in the history of the genre and also in reggae music bounty killer collaborate with so many artists so let me know what you think in the comment section leave a like on the video remember to subscribe reggae my Lightis. i'm your host cool t reggae my Lightis. it's the button the people make sure you like this